Silicon Valley celebrates artificial intelligence and robotics as fields that have the power to improve people's lives through inventions like driverless cars and robot carers for the elderly. That message isn't getting through to the rest of the country, where more than 70% of Americans express wariness or concern about a world where machines perform many of the tasks done by humans, according to Pew Research. The findings have wide-reaching implications for technology companies working in these fields and indicate the need for greater public hand-holding. Ordinary Americans are very wary and concerned about the growing trend in automation and place a lot of value in human decision-making. Boston Dynamics Spot Mini Spot weighs only 25 kilograms and is 83 centimeters tall. Spot can perform several functions including climbing stairs and navigating through terrain with ease. It is small enough to be used indoors. Why is Boston Dynamics Spot so popular? Spot's USP lies in the fact that it can be at places where other wheeled robots cannot. All of this while carrying payloads of up to 14 kilograms of inspection equipment. Its maximum speed is 1.6 meters per second and it comes with a runtime of 90 minutes. With swappable batteries, Spot can be controlled using an intuitive tablet application and built-in stereo cameras. Sports Explorer is designed for developers who want to explore flexible mobile robots. Its functions can range from tasks for industrial inspection to entertainment. It comes ready to operate with flexible API and payload interfaces. Additionally, it can be customized for other applications. Aeolus Robot Wake up in the morning with your coffee. Let dinner begin on your way home. Go to bed knowing that the house will be clean when you wake up again. It seems that the Aeolus robot can do all the smart things at home. This is quite a challenge. In any case, the robot seems to be functionally adapted to our home. This robot is programmed in such a way that it can recognize thousands of objects and then react to them. Aeolus can vacuum, mop, help you find something, and yes, he can really get beer out of the fridge for you. The robot is expected to be on the market in December 2019 for about 20,000 euros. Extendable and interchangeable arms allow the robots to vacuum, mop, put away dishes, move furniture, and much more. Cutting-edge AI technology means these robots can clean your home by themselves. They'll be constantly learning to recognize people, take on new tasks, and can remember where more than 1,000 household items last were and should be. Atlas Robot Boston Dynamics has just posted an incredible video showing a massively upgraded version of the Atlas robot that they initially developed for the DARPA Robotics Challenge. While BD calls this the next generation of Atlas, it looks like such an enormous technological leap forward that it's more like a completely different species, a new version of Atlas designed to operate outdoors and inside buildings. It is electrically powered and hydraulically actuated. It uses sensors in its body and legs to balance and LiDAR and stereo sensors in its head to avoid obstacles, assesses the terrain, and help with navigation. This version of Atlas is about 5 foot 9 inches tall, about a head shorter than the DRC Atlas, and weighs 180 pounds. Sky Dio 2 Arguably the most important feature of any camera drone is the main camera. The Sky Dio2's main camera is a Sony IMX577 1/2.3 inch 12.3 MP CMOS sensor and shoots 4K footage at up to 60 frames per second, specifically 3840 by 2160 at 30, 60, 48 or 24 frames per second and 1920 by 1020 at 120, 60 and 30 frames per second. It gives you the ability to shoot slow motion at 1080p at 120 frames per second. Still, images use the entire resolution on the sensor. Shooting 4056 by 3040 12 megapixel images in JPEG and DNG. Hansen modeled the robot based on a combination of ancient Egyptian Queen Nefertiti, late famous Hollywood actress Aubrey Hepburn, and his wife. The robot's internal architecture possesses sophisticated software, chat, and artificial intelligence system designed for general reasoning. Sophia is capable of imitating human gestures and facial expressions. She's equipped to answer certain questions and engaged in simple conversations. Cameras are embedded in Sophia's eyes, and along with computer algorithms, she's able to see things. The humanoid robot can track faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize people. Google's Alphabet offers Sophia's speech recognition technology. 
The robot is designed to get smarter over time. Sophia and other similar robots that Hansen's developing are designed to be social. The inventor believes that these AI-backed robots will serve as workers and companions for people residing in nursing homes and in other settings that require interactions with humans. In an interview with Sophia, she said that her artificial intelligence will help improve the lives of people, stating, social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many corners of healthcare and medical uses. In an unnerving conversation, when asked by a reporter if people should fear robots, Sophia said, Someone said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. She followed the statement up with, what did he know? There is an adage that states, just because you can doesn't mean you should. The United States and other countries are confronting a job loss crisis. It looks like layoffs and hiring freezes will continue until the vaccines are distributed, shot into arms, and the results are deemed positive. Does it make sense to mass produce robots to take the jobs that people need to provide for their families? This type of morals versus commerce dilemma will continue to play out for the foreseeable future as technology is rapidly developing, causing disruptions in the job marketplace. Advocates for technology assert that new jobs will be created in this emerging trend. Others are fearful that they'll lack the skills, education, and knowledge to find a job or hold on to their positions in this new technological, robotic, and AI economy. Siri is perhaps today's most well-known example of AI. The name Siri in Norse means a beautiful woman who leads you to victory. And the default voice is a female American persona known as Samantha. Apple acquired Siri in 2010 from the research nonprofit SRI International. An Apple spokeswoman said, Siri's voice now comes in male or female form and can be set to several different languages. In his research, MacDorman studies how men and women react to voices of different genders. In one study, he and his colleagues played clips of male and female voices and gave people a questionnaire about which voice they preferred. Then, the researchers gave people a test that measured their implicit or subconscious preferences. The men in the study reported that they preferred female voices, but they showed no implicit preference for them whereas the women in the study implicitly preferred female voices to male ones, even more than they admitted in the questionnaire. I think there's a stigma for males to prefer males, but there isn't a stigma for females to prefer females," McDormand said. Thanks for watching, guys! If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and I'll see you in the next video!